be incorporated uh, some power techniques with hypertrophy and bodybuilding stuff. So it's the best of both worlds, as good as it gets. Um, I'm a fan. This shit is legit. It kicked my ass. Straight up. Yeah. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Michael C. Here live. Joe How Strong, baby, a destination. My man Josh. This was a great day for me. I'm gonna tell you guys why. Uh, a lot of y'all know me for training really hard, really intense. But um, you know, with life things change and me being more busy and traveling, my training has not been as intense. And Josh just gave me one of the hardest back workouts I've ever done. And uh, it kind of like, it shook me up and reminded me of my roots of this, this type of hardcore training. I've been, I'm guilty of it, been chasing pumps just to maintain lately. You know, other than squats, all my upper body's been pretty weak lately. But this was a very, uh, not just a hardcore intense workout, it was an intelligent workout. I was doing things differently, like doing re uh, sets for time versus just reps, because reps can get sloppy. You know, not every rep really counts, but when you have that time and attention, it's a whole different uh, animal. You're forcing blood into the, those cells, expanding the muscle, making you stronger. This shit is legit. It kicked my ass. Mike did a great summary right there. Um, mark my words on this. If he decides to pursue the deadlift, um, you know, and really, like, I'd say if you give him in 12 weeks from now, he'd be over, well over 700 and could easily within six months be a world class deadlifter because, you know, when he went to 585, just by teaching him some kind of like load his hamstrings a little bit right there, the weight flew up. The technique wasn't as good as lighter, but that's what happens is when, you, when you're able to do it with lighter weight, say, like, you know, not full speed get it right eventually the heavyweight follows so I see unlimited potential if he ever decides to you know go that way I mean it's a very tough man too because like he said he's been hadn't been training this way all right so this is good for me because I've never been coached through a deadlift ever in my life I just go you know I kind of watch you know when I was younger watch other people do it and you know ask questions here and there and just go at, after it I always just try to use brute strength but um this is good because I'm learning some technique now so uh, gotta be willing to learn. Right. Yep. Ah. Ah. Ten more seconds. Ah. Ah. Three more seconds. Ah. Come on, last one, finish it. There you go, good. I think to build a little bit on what he said, just to get back to that time under tension, I don't know if we caught this on camera earlier, we had a good discussion about um, we do want to make every rep count and everything like that, but there is a time and a place for cheat reps and, and all that kind of stuff too, because what we were talking about earlier is, um, like yesterday we were talking about the science of all this is great, and the science does, there actually is a study showing that cheat curls and cheat lateral raises put more tension than, than stricter ones. Um, so not the always cheat, but there is some science to back that, because there comes a certain point in time, I think, where you just, you know, Excuse the nomenclature. You got to grab it. See if you got a pair and get after it. And and I think um, this is a prime example of somebody does that. Ten seconds deep. Perfect, Mike. We're at the halfway point. Keep it going. There you go. Come on. Ten seconds. Yep. Come on. There we go. Five seconds. Let's go. And stop. I'm such a fan of science, I paid fucking $500 to watch like Neil deGrasse Tyson's lecture, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. And a real scientist is very, they want to be proven wrong so they can expand on what they know, they learn more. They don't know it all. And a lot of times in the fitness community, guys, you know, they have some, some fancy letters by their name and they know it all, but it's not about that. None of us know it all, nothing is that, nothing is that. So Josh can do ABC, precisely and I'll do it it may not work for me you know we have so many different variables and that's where the science comes in you know I'm this the subject conduct the experiment in the gym 
If it works, great. If it don't work, we adjust. <laughs> That's science. You know what I mean? But it's good to do research. Sure. And, you know, you got to take your craft serious. So it's important to research and try to expand your knowledge. But don't forget about this place in here. Yeah, again, we're going to do this for time, Mike. Just kind of be a little rounded forward. Okay? Just pull down. We can get a good stretch up. Pull down like this. Just squeeze, stretch up. We'll do two sets for a minute straight. I'm, this shouldn't be overly exerting. It's like a break until we do the next okay. thing. Yep. come in to train with somebody who I respect, you know, I throw what I know out the window and I'm an open sponge because I'm, I'm always trying to be better. You know what I mean? So I don't know it all, but I, to this day, people can say, oh, you're successful already. I'm like, no, I'm always trying to progress in everything, especially in the gym, especially with my strength and my performance. So you got to humble yourself in time and receive what others have to give because this is, I just got some valuable juice. So, thank you. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. Great workout yes, today, sir. brother. I yes, really sir. appreciate it. First of many, though. Yes, we'll definitely hook up next time he's in town.